Hey, in today's video, I'm going to go through the steps to extract your iPhone contacts to an Excel file with the help of your Google account. Shout out to 358 Studios for showing me how to do this. I'll post a link to his video in the description as well. The first step of the process is to make sure that we're actually backing up our contacts to iCloud. So what you want to do is go into your iPhone settings, select your name. From there, you want to select iCloud. And then once you're in iCloud, you'll see that there's a section called Device Backups and iCloud is on. Another thing that you can do is apps using iCloud, you just want to make sure that Contacts is actually selected as well. Now that we've confirmed that we're backing up our contacts on our iCloud backup from our iPhones. Let's head on over to our computers and go to iCloud.com and log in using our Apple ID. From your iCloud homepage, if you look to the top right, you'll see a button with several icons. Click on that and select contacts. That's going to take you to your iCloud contacts page. From here, you can download all your contacts. The way I would do that is there's a button with three dots above my contacts. I just click on that, select all contacts. And then from there, I would scroll on over to the download button in the top right and select export CV card. The other option I have, if I want to download just specific contacts, I could just click on an individual name. Uh, so uh, in this instance here, I'm selecting Pitbull artist and I will also select Ricky Martin by holding down control and clicking on Ricky Martin and now these two contacts are selected. If I want I can just go and repeat the process. I'll go up to the top right, select the uh, export or the download button and export vCard. Step three in the process is to utilize our Google accounts to uh, import the file that we exported from our iCloud account. Uh, for me, by default, it wanted to open that file uh, in Outlook. So uh, we're going to use Google to be able to export our contacts uh, in the form of a CSV file. Uh, so for me, I'm already logged in by default into my Google account. I'm using the uh, Chrome uh, web browser. So what you'll want to do is get to your contacts. Uh, I did that by clicking on the uh, button in the top right with the icons and selecting contacts and it brought me to this screen here. So once I'm in my Google contacts screen, I can import the file that we exported from iCloud. So I'm just going to go and browse there, select file and uh, I've been doing some tests here, but uh, this is the file that I'm going to import. So I'm going to select that, hit open and import. All right, so now all my contacts are in the uh, Google contacts uh, window here. Uh, so I can go ahead and export all of them. The way you can do that, I don't have a select all button. So what I had to do was select one contact and then I actually had the option to select all. Now that they're all selected, I'm going to go to the three dots up here in the top right, select that, go to export. All right, and as Sean Seymour from 358 Studios mentioned, uh, he recommends using an Outlook CSV just because it's going to be a lot cleaner than the Google CSV. So I've selected the Outlook CSV and export. I've gone ahead and just found the exported file in my downloads folder, double clicked on it, and by default it opened up in Excel. And here I have my list of contacts. If I want to, I can now go edit them and uh, do whatever work I need to do and re-import them if I really wanted to back into Google or back into my iPhone contacts. Thanks again to 358 Studios for sharing how to do that. Link to that video in the description. And if you found my video helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. It would be much appreciated. With that said, thanks a lot. Have a great day.